Break your asteroid belt, says the man with the beak. I had never traveled on such a fast ship. In fact, I had never left the Jovian system. Not having Jupiter as a background was to be a strange situation for me. I thought, as the silent crew watched a few white dots advance on the solar equator line. We were moving toward the inner planets. How exciting! Zana warns that we are approaching the asteroid belt and that we will have to slow down a little. Dore suggests that we make a bow and go over and thus avoid slowing down, as there is a danger of being intercepted by bandits or pirates, as the asteroid belt has always had a bad reputation for being full of malicious creatures. Zana agreed, and so adjusts the direction of the spacecraft. But a few minutes later, we received a radio broadcast. Medea comments that there is no pirate signature and asks if we should connect and answer. Dore says yes and to broadcast the image into the cockpit's window. This is the USCN patrol force. We gathered intelligence which confirms that aboard that ship are criminals who are on the run and we have a warrant for arrest. Stop the ship immediately or you will be shut down. Dore asks, what is the reason for the detention? The patrol guard replies, Intelligence says, you're indicted for the crime of murder of police officers and theft of sensitive technological equipment belonging to Rohit Corp. Why is there so much fuss about this equipment? Dore asks, and the patrol guard responds, That's classified. Surrender now and deliver the cargo, and you guys will be fine. Dore signals Medea to disconnect communication and says, It's a pity we don't have the code to open the box, so we know what it contains. I say, It really must be a very valuable thing to suddenly alert such authority. Dore looks thoughtful. Hmm, we have to react fast. They must have some electromagnetic camouflage, so we don't register them in our different radar modes, says Dore, and he goes on. They should be on the asteroid belt, probably behind some rock to avoid being seen. The only chance we can escape is to navigate inside the asteroid belt as quickly as possible to escape a dogfight. Zana laughs and says wryly, Dore. You must have a lot of confidence in me. Zana, I know what you are capable of. This is our only chance. Here we are helpless and exposed as prey about to be hunted. Dora looks at me and continues. Gillo, you and I are going to the turrets in case they try to follow us. Zana changes course and dives towards the asteroid belt. Medea warns that the digital camera has caught movement. Two military ships ahead of us. Damn, says Dore. This ship should have more weaponry. Only with the rear facing turrets we can't do much. I say, this spaceship has mirror shields, so we shouldn't be too worried, right? True, but they know it as well as we do. And if their ship has rockets or missiles, we're screwed says Dore, but Zana has an idea and suggests. We can turn off the thrusters and navigate under inertia. Turn the ship 180 degrees so that you can face them and aim to kill. But what if we go towards an asteroid, I ask. Then we have to quickly adjust the trajectory, she tells defiantly and continues. Do you guys trust me or not? Everyone is in high spirits, and the fight begins. Medea turns to his lover, you are pretty crazy. Zana says, I'm pretty and crazy. Let them come, those motherfuckers!
We have to turn! We have to turn now! I can see them! Fuck! Ah, ah, ah. Relax, Chilo! Concentrate! Oh no! He's preparing to launch a rocket! Ah. Bye bye! Incoming! 